Walk up inside. The City London Basketball Academy is Hoops Fix Pro Am Summer League 2022. It is brought to you by the Jordan brand. It is week three of what is going to be another brilliant day's action. We're tipping off with Team Ruby taking on Team Emerald in the Women's League. Just a quick reminder of a couple of the key rules. We've got four periods, 10 minutes each running clock, except for the final two minutes in the contest. Then that just becomes a regular basketball game. What does that mean for the first 38 minutes? Any fouls? If they're shooting fouls, well, we're not going to have free throws. So if it's any shooting fouls, any shooting fouls, it is going to be points. If you miss your shot, you get one minus the value of that shot. Example, you take a two, you're fouled, you miss, you get one point, the game continues. If you make it, you are awarded the and one for whatever point value you are going for. You're putting up a three point shot, you're fouled, congratulations, you just got yourself four points. And we roll on with an out of bounds play. So normal foul out rules apply and team fouls, well, we'll get into that if teams get into foul trouble. So this is a really exciting opportunity and again, huge thank you to Jordan Brand and the CEO of London Basketball Academy for putting together what is a brilliant, brilliant event last week and week one, of course, both fantastic days for basketball. And this gives us a brilliant opportunity to see players that we don't often get to see playing together, playing against one another. And uh, it's a great way to see a couple of players before they head off to the States. We've got a couple of players in this game. Emily O'Connell. I mean, maybe not going to the States. We're not too sure yet to confirm her commitment. But she's on Team Emerald there in red. She wears 10. But a player who is going to the States, Molly Lavin, headed to American University, just as an example. So it's a great opportunity to see Molly playing before she heads over to start her collegiate career. So we are just about a minute or so out from the tip. Mm. I've been, oh, two minutes out from the tip, fine, fine. So let's just run through the rosters. On the left side, on the left side of your screen in black, we've got Team Ruby. They lost 40-47 to Sapphire in week two. Uh, they line up with number three, Shanice Beckford Norton, number four, Naomi McKenzie, number one, Deborah Samoye, number 12, Janice Monacana, number five, Ezekiela Lisk, number eight, Nicole Lavinia, ten, Vanessa Acra, Jamila Thompson will be wearing nine, Shaquilla Joseph will be in five for Team Emerald. They're rocking the red unis. Emily O'Connell wears ten, Jessica Baksh wears three, and we are three minutes away from the tip. Our match officials has just given the confirmation. Chantel Charles, the London Lions and Harringate legend, rocking eight. Carlotta de Medicalina Alonso is in six. Gabby Nikita Naite is in 12. Faith Okwosa wears five. Janelle Grant in four. Molly Lavin, nine. MJ Sarkodi Adu in 11. And Sevian Witter is in seven. We're three minutes away from the opening tip of here. 
at the first game of week three, Hoops Fix Pro Am Summer League 2022, brought to you by Jordan Brown. So final countdown to tip off here for the opening game of week three action. Team Ruby taking on Team Emerald. Team Emerald took it by Team Diamond last week. 56-53 the final in that game. One minute, so the teams are being sent to their respective benches. Team, Team Ruby, a slightly different looking Team Ruby, fell 40-47 to Team Sapphire last time. Team Sapphire as well played very short handed, they played a really tough game of basketball both sides. Very excited to see how they go today. Today's match officials for this one, Michael Diamond Hunter, John Late Caesar and Leah Page are your officials in the middle. On oh, comms today is myself, Darren Paul, running the live stream for your game right now. The one, the only, Paige Robinson. We have Armani on the camera. So a huge thank you to everybody involved in making this. Well, it's been a brilliant couple of days of basketball so far. Making this event a brilliant success. This is just the beginning. Six games today. You can join us all across the Hoops Fix social media platforms, but make sure that you are keeping it glued into YouTube. Make sure you subscribe. If you enjoy this game at any point, consider hitting that like button. And of course, let people know that you're watching it. Share it across social media. And get chatting in the comments. Is anybody standing out to you? Are you enjoying any particular plays, any particular moves? Is it particularly good to see a player that we haven't seen for a little while? MJ Sarkodio do been a great performance last week. Of course, playing her America over in the States, the former Cola, well, the Cola product. Alumnus of our host venue today. The Cola grads playing today. Of course, Emily O'Connell, Molly Lavin, teammates. Would have played a little with Sarkodia Do. So the two fives are on the floor. So Team Emerald, they're lining up with Emily O'Connell, Chantel Charles, Gabby Nicanetta Haite, Janelle Grant and Molly Lavin. Team Ruby lining up with Shanice Beckford Norton, Deborah Samoye, Vanessa Akra, Jamila Thompson, and Shaquilla Joseph. A couple of Haringey Angels in there. Jamila Thompson played some for the BA Ronda Rebels as well. 
as we are underway. The two nines going at it. And that's first possession will be for Team Ruby. All in black. Accra sends it down low to Thompson. Thompson. Good kick out. Three's on the way. Just off the mark there. She's back to Norton. Great rebound put back on goal. And that in microcosm, that action you've just seen, we're going to see that all day long. As Team Emerald in red on their first possession of the contest, it doesn't go. And Shane Speckford is going to take it up the floor. Put the moves on O'Connell, sends it back to the top. It goes long range too. Jamila Thompson. Opens up the score in Team Ruby. Okay, so I say hands up to Grant. A little too strong. A oh, beautiful pass underneath. Vanessa Acra finds Deborah Samoye. Gorgeous make. Nikki Tanaite thought about it. Still Nikki uh, sorry, hand it off to Grant. Batted around. Back for Norton. Tries to send it up the floor. Gathered in gratefully by Nikita Naito. Four plays nothing. Team Ruby in the lead. Just off the mark on the triple effort. Back for Norton. Thought about pulling up for just a moment. Drives left. Kicks back to the top. Trips on the way. Shaq Joseph. Seven plays zero. Chantal Charles has to remove her earrings. So the clock did stop and the clock is back underway. So we are playing with a running clock, but occasionally, timeouts for example, it will stop. Foul, not an act of shooting. So foul going to be called on Deborah Samoye. First team, first personal. So just a normal non-shooting foul. As Lavin looking to get the first points for Team Emerald goes inside. Fouled in the act of shooting. So one point foul. That is the first points for Emerald. Back for Norton underneath. Trying to find Samoye. Couldn't quite bring that in. Former Peckham Pride, former Harringay Angel, Deborah Samoye. Nikita Naito sending it inside. Grant, fade away. Beautiful. <laughs> Tough finish. Beckford Norton puts on the burners and puts it home. That's what she does. Thrilled Lions fans for two years. Before that, what a career. Molly Lavin sinks it from outside. That's more like it. Emerald, bring it back to within three now. Nine plays six. Early going, period number one. <laughs> Triple from outside. Shek Joseph back to back. Three point plays. Charles drives. Good off the glass. And after a slow start, Emerald right back in this contest. What can Ruby do? Beckford Norton pulls up mid range. Shanice Beckford Norton fully in her bag today already. Joseph hands off to Beckford Norton, the Lions captain. Beautiful pass. Accra mid range. It goes. Kitanaite fakes, puts up the triple, short, comes off Samoye. So time has been called, Team Emerald. So they're going to talk it over for a minute and so will we. We'll be back in a minute's time. Ruby up, 16 to 8 over Emerald.
Welcome back inside the City of London Basketball Academy. Here for the Hoot Sticks Pro-Am Summer League 2022 brought to you by Jordan Brand. We've got a beauty. And we're only four and a half minutes in. 16 to eight is the score. Team Ruby in the lead. Team Ruby rocking the black unis and Shanice Beckford Norton. It has been the Shanice show to start off with. A couple of changes have been brought in by the Team Emerald coach. Straight away, shots up, shots down. Seven Witter, beautiful. First introduction into the game. And Amy McKenzie's into the contest for Team Ruby. Thompson gets open at the stripe, can't go. Fouled in the act of shooting was Janice Monacana. So it is a one point foul, 17 plays 10. And the foul there called on Carlotta de Melchalina Alonso. First foul in the contest for Team Emerald, 17 plays 10. Witter. So Cordia do driving in. Push. Called on. Janice Monacana. Not in the act of shooting, just foul on the floor and the clock stays running. So Cordia do just off the mark on the triple effort. Faith Okwosa going inside. Tough. Couldn't go. Back for Norton. Kicks it to the corner. Janice gets a jump and goes inside. Janice Monacana. Beautiful basket. And it's 19 10. Okwosa. Drove. Denied. Kicks to the top. Out of play. As Gabby Nikita Naito sits down, check back in. Janelle Grant. So 19 10. Thompson going in. Oh, ball from Zarkodia. Do Vanessa Acra. Oh, net! Vanessa Acra. Akwosa going inside. A little too strong on the lefty finish. Giants Mana Carter. Oh, a bit more. It's too much source on that pass. Substitutions on the floor. Checking in for the first time today. Nicole Lavinia and Ezekiela Lisk. Devian Witter and Sarkodia do inside. Goes to work on Monacana, puts it down. 22 plays 12 underneath for the finish is Lisk. Gorgeous assist there by guess who, Shanice Beckford Norton. You didn't need to guess, you knew. Witter. Trying to float it home. Beckford Norton taking it the other way. Long lead pass. Monacana out of her hands. Right straight back into Beckford Norton's. Lavinia, little give and go. Triple goes. 
27-12. It was given as a two-point shot. In fact, Toe just on the line, inside. As the first bucket goes, Faith Okwosa celebrating her birthday last week. Now celebrating hoops in Cola. Kicks out to Monacana. Monacana drives, righty finish, and one play. It's 29 14. She's back for Norton sitting down. Deborah Samoye checking into the contest. Four changes coming for Team Emerald. The only player to remain on the floor for Emerald, Janelle Grant. Nikki tonight at the top. Chantel Charles. Molly Lavin. Going to work, step back, triples on the way. Just off right into the hands of Lavinia. Final minute of the first quarter. Game one, Hoops Fix, Pro-Am Summer League. Brought to you by Jordan Brand. Going for that pass to Samoye, been turned over. On the outside. Josh rolls out Nikita Naite underneath to Grant. Beautiful recovery. That's what Emerald need. They just need to score any which way they can. 29-16. 15 seconds. Oh, brilliant steal. Emily O'Connell. The double comes. Got to get over the timeline. Grant just into the hands of Lavin. Seven to shoot it. Still Molly Lavin. Pulls up. Triple. Can't go. Nikita Naite. And that's going to do it at the end of the first quarter. Ruby up 29-16 over Emerald. We'll be right back. Hoops Fix Pro Am Summer League 22. Brought to you by Jordan Brown. Welcome back in to the London Basketball Academy Hoops Fix Pro-Am Summer League 2022 brought to you by Jordan Brand. Game one. We're only 10 minutes in. It's been an absolute belter already. 29 play 16 team Ruby in the lead. And I think it's fair to say at points have been in control of things. Shanice Beckford Norton, she's on your screen right now, has been bossing it early but you can't do it alone really strong performances from Ruby everything they're touching right now turning to gold just a quick confirmation between our match officials and our table officials and again thank you to everybody who helps to put on games of basketball in the UK tables, stats Timekeepers, officials. Without them, we would not have the sport that we do. But maybe our officials, they're just enjoying the music. They're enjoying the tunes being put on by Stan from Who's by Huncho in the arena. that song to play all the way through so team emerald seven now i tried to get this out last week 
too much action was happening. Sevian Witter, formerly of the Brixton Top Cuts. She is an artist by trade and designed that beautiful hoops fix court in Clapham Common. It's an absolute beauty of a court. If you haven't seen it, check it out. And it's a really excellent example of the outdoor courts that we have across the nation's capital and across country and what could be a real blueprint for what should come next. So just a couple of moments away from the tip-off. Paige Robinson chopping out with Shanice. Back for Norton. The show stealer so far now to button some moves. Oh, the camera. The camera wasn't on Shanice just then. Trust me, it was magnificent. Of course, Shanice part of that dominant and a huge part of that dominant London Lions team this season. Conquered all before them domestically. The quadruple undefeated in British competition. It was absolutely a season to behold taking their first foray into European competition as well took on Borge took down Borge at home in what must be one of the greatest games of basketball in this country's history as we are into the second quarter of play, game one, quarter two is underway. Nikita Naite sets us off with a big three. Emerald down by ten now. She's back for Norton. In and out of the hands of Aqua came off the leg of Chantel Charles. Emerald head coach Jason Witter gave her the instructions. From the sidelines, Shanice Beckford Norton, mid range, baseline J. She can't miss so far. Lavin, just a little too strong on that one. Thompson, thought about kicking it to the top, gave a little shake and bake. Lavin turns it over. She's got Connell ahead of her. Finds her, no. Out of the hands, or off the hands of Beckford Norton. I think that hit Anne Shea, who we will see in game two. Janelle Grant puts it up. Just short into the hands of Thompson. Nikita Naite puts up. Can't go from Nikita Naite. Beckford Norton, gorgeous pass to Moye. Little too much on the finish. Chantel Charles, such an impressive season for Lions as well this year. In and out of her hands. So it's Red Bull. The clock has not stopped. Grant. Former Purdue Boilermaker puts it up. Just a bit too strong. Sarkodio do to check in next time. Thompson. Great season with the Suns this year. Kicks out to Beckford Norton, sends it to the corner. Thought about stepping back. Samoye puts up the triple. Just off the mark left. Accra. Great rebound. Can't put it back. Retains possession. Three's on the way. Maybe the tide may turn. Oh, that's been picked off that pass. Shanice Beckford, Norton. Puts it down. Oh, just finish. O'Connell, Nikita Naite. Nothing but string. Gabby, Nikita Naite. Playing her own. Playing college ball from the GB under 20. Thompson. Want to make that would have been. Charles has Grant up ahead. Turn, shoots it on the baseline. Back for Norton. That's above them all to pull down that board.
Joseph. Right, finish. 35 plays 22. Molly Lavin, wide open underneath. Right hand finish off the glass. Beautiful find. Emily O'Connell. No strangers to each other, no strangers to this gym. Part of the brilliant Cola Academy. Absolutely. Talk about the dominance of the London Lions, Cola. Had a season for that in both National League and the Junior Leagues. This season, Chantel Charles driving hard, kicks to O'Connell at the break. Looks to go in, skips it over. Great ball movement, Janelle Grant. And it's into the hands of Shanice Beckford Norton. Brilliant play though by Team Emerald. That is what they're going to need more of. That great ball movement. Just lacked the finish that time. Samoye. Out of play. On the triple. Changes a piece. Jessica Batch checking in for the first time today. O'Connell Grant sit down. Charles also sitting down. Savian Witter to check back in. Oh. Correction, Witter did not check back in. We have Sarkodia doing Okwosa on the floor as Gabby Nikita Naite drains another from outside. To the hands of Akra. Wants that lead back up to 10. Stays with Team Ruby. Five minutes left in the first half. 35 plays 27. Bella Thompson. Just a little short. Jessica Bach, the former line young blood. Oh, foul. Akra. Uh, basically ran into MJ Sarkodia do that. Oh, great deceptive pass by Nikita Naito, sold by Batch. Sarkodia do can't finish though. Great play. Akra, again a little give and go between her and Beckford Norton. Beckford Norton stepped out of bounds. <laughs> a little bit of discussion of the, uh, the colour of the lines that they're playing to between Lady Caesar and Beckford Norton. Oh, inside Okwosa. The double came. Okwosa battling hard with Monacana. Outside now, Nikita Naite. Into the hands of Okwosa. Going hard in the post. It's a GB International. Triples on the way from the break. Just a little too strong. Monacana out in transition, out alone. They can't stop her. That leads back up to 10 for Team Ruby, but Emerald not making it easy for them at all. Brilliant defensive stand there, Vanessa Akra. Triples on the way, Monacana can't go. Strong rebound there, Naomi McKenzie. Akra. Like the oh, Beckford Norton. So close to hooping that back in. Sarko do. do. Give and go with Lavin. That's short into the hands of Aquosa. And gone down hard. It's Lavin. I'm gonna see. And that's that's ten. So that is Accra. As we have substitutions, both teams. So Accra sits down. Thompson sits down. Checking in is Lisk and Lavinier. De Mercalina Alonso into the contest for Nikita Naite. Lavin is also sat down. Uh, Witter in for her. Grant out of their hands into those of Beckford Norton. Beautiful pass off to Lisk. Grant pulls down on that board. She's going to have to either kill time or go it alone. Now they join her. Witter. Then Marcelina Alonso. 
Had a roll in, the trip is on the way, back. Short. Emerald have definitely slowed the roll of Team Ruby in this period. Sokko Didu bats that out of play. Mackenzie to inbound. Beckford Norton pulls up. No good on that. Very long to Beckford Norton. Oh. Come on, a corner, sorry. Final minute of the first half. Bash. Triples just off the mark. Great rebound by Emar Khalina Alonso. So, I'll get it to go. The two. Beckford Norton puts it up, gets her own rebound, knew it wasn't coming her way. Uh, foul in there. First, Denise. So last two minutes of the game will be stopped up. We've got five seconds to keep tonight. Hey! Bunks it home! And that's gonna do it for the first half. 37, 32, Emerald. The fight back is on. They did a much better job containing Team Ruby during that period of play. Really was the Shanice Beckford Norton show in that first quarter of action. Then Gabby Nikita Naite says, Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's sing some triples. And did she ever? She's brought her team right back into this. Ruby 37, Emerald 32. We're back in 90 seconds' time for the second half of game one. Who's Fix Pro Am Summer League 2022 brought to you by Jordan
Welcome back inside the Cola Basketball Academy, home of Hoops Fix Pro Am Summer League 2022. We are in game day three, game one of week three. It's Team Ruby just having their team photo taken out in the middle, taking on Team Emerald. Ruby up 37 32 over Emerald. Like I said, she's back for Norton and putting on a show. Kita Naite. Also for Team Emerald, she's got 12 points in the contest, four from outside. And both teams going through their final bits of preparation at the half. Now, half times for the rest of the games should be around two to four minutes. So, if you're watching the rest of our state games, and I mean, why wouldn't you be? Come on, what action we have ahead of us. And if you're not able to see the rest of them live, don't you worry, they're all archived here on YouTube. But if you are watching the rest of the games, just bear in mind that they are gonna, uh, intervals will be a little bit shorter. So the next game, game two, Team Sapphire taking on Team Diamond. Game three, this is going to be a certified banger. Do not miss. Waving Thunder taking on the Elite Bulldogs. And then game four, Hoot Space taking on Cola. You know what I just said about that game three, which also applies to game two and game one? Exactly, do not miss. But Hoot Space taking on Cola in game four. TBC, Thames Valley Cavaliers taking on the Glacier Boys. Glacier Boys unbeaten so far in this competition. Run and Jump taking on London United. Run and Jump also under defeated. And London United, they took down Worthing last week in a really fantastic game of basketball. You are going to love it. Do not miss the remainder of the action here this weekend at the Who's Fixed Pro Am Summer League 2022 brought to you by Jordan. <laughs> Teams have returned to their benches. We are moments away, he says, once he looks at our officials, from getting back underway. Yep, game ball is in the hand of John Beatiza. We are getting up to get underway. So again, a huge thank you if you're choosing to spend some of your Saturday or maybe all of your Saturday with us. Enjoying the Hoopsticks Pro Am Summer League 2022 brought to you by Jordan Brown. And these fantastic Jordan Unis both sides are getting to wear. Like I say, a huge thank you to you for joining us, spending some time with us. And if you're enjoying it, maybe you know people who might do as well. Share it out there on the social media. Does your dog have a Facebook or Twitter or Instagram account? The world needs to know that your dog is also watching the Who's Fix from Summer League 2022. We are about to get back underway. Jessica Baksh is not going to inbound. It's going to be Vanessa Acre to inbound for Team Ruby. And we are back underway. 20 more minutes to go in this one. Great ball moving on the outside, inside to Thompson, doesn't go. Nikita Naite finished the first off very strong. Grant finds Nikita Naite, got Akra in her face. Thompson just sends that one. Wants absolutely none of that in her house. Clock still runs, remember, until the final two minutes of the ball game. Both clubs, both uh, teams have two timeouts each remaining as well. Grant. Out of her hands into the hands of De Mercolina Alonso and a 24 second violation. Very, very few then have been called so far in uh, the first two weeks of the program. 
back for Norton. Being picked up by Baksh. Inside to Samoye. Then Marcelina Alonso had a hand in there. Thompson outside. Joseph. Just a bit too strong. Kept alive. Not kept alive. High back for Norton. Marcelina Alonso. Hands back off to Nikita Naito. Ooh. Guessed by everybody. And it will go black ball. So that is going to be Team Ruby. Taking it back the other way. So the first half started off extremely hot. Both of these sides now, they've started to work each other out. And that's time to show Samoye. Says none of that. Drive straight through the middle. And scores. An absolute beauty. Pass over the top. And Accra, the other way, sending it down low to Thompson. Thompson trying to work her way into the paint. The double came. That freed up Accra. Back for Norton. Back on the outside, picked up by Batch. Skips it to Accra. Back outside, Joseph. To the hands of Sarkodia, dude. Pulls out Nikita Naito. To the top. The triple's good. Janelle Grant. Team Emerald. Just four points away right now. We apologize for any technical difficulties. We are working to resolve them. Driving inside, Sarkodi Adu. Kicks it to the top. Grant again. Can't go, Sarkodi Adu. Stays Team Emerald. As four changes made by Jason Witter. Interesting call. With his side in the ascendancy. Grant, Sarkodi Adu, De Marcelina Alonso, and Baksh sit down. So he has, as Monacana just tips that out of play, he has at his disposal ten very, very good, sorry, nine very, very good basketball players. O'Connell, and it will go Team Ruby. I was looking so positive. For it to end in a turnover, kind of disappointing. 5.15 left in the third. Monacana on the outside. Thompson, so dynamic. Oh, Convish, shoot. Pulls up, Accra. Faith Okwosa. Monacana there. Flirting with a foul. Charles into the hands of Lavin, gets it back. O'Connell. Still O'Connell trying to find that opening. Into Lavin, travels the call. Back for Norton, finds Monacana. Using her strength, power, experience, but was dispossessed. Not too sure if that was Nikita Naite. Can't get the triple to go. Like I was saying, I'm not sure if that was Nikita Naite or Lavin. Oh, inside to Thompson. Four points, the difference still. Low scoring in this third quarter. Closer to Nikita Naite. 
Underneath to Lavin. Lavin faded away. And there's a lid on those rims. Back for Norton. And Monacana cutting. Accra. Just short. Thompson. Mackenzie skips it over. Accra, that little give and go. Between Accra and Beckford Norton. It was super effective in the first half, and it, to be honest, it's still effective now. It's getting the looks that Team Ruby want, but right now they're just not able to go. As more wholesale changes from Team Emerald, as Team Ruby take their first time out, they have one to take. And if the players are taking a break, then so will we. We'll be back in about 30 seconds time. Who's Fix Pro Summer League brought to you by Jordan Brown. Back inside, see the London Basketball Academy for the Hoopstick Pro and Summer League 2022 brought to you by Jordan Brand. Game one, week three, Ruby taking on Emerald, and it's just four points the difference. In the last 17 minutes of play, Team Ruby have only scored 10 points. They still lead Team Emerald, but that is quite shocking given the extremely hot start. But Team Emerald, and they've bounced back, and they've found some answers to some very difficult questions. Grant, going inside, blows by, can't go. Back, Sarkodie Adu. More offensive possession from the Emeralds, this is good to see. Witter driving in on Lavinia. Witter. And that has come off her leg. It's going to go the way of Ruby. Emerald head coach Jason Witter doesn't agree. Uh, ultimately, I think our officials got that call spot on. Back for Norton. Using that screen from Monacana. Steps out, triples on the way. Janice Monacana. That was a great play. Sarkodie Adu, a little too strong. Beckford Norton. So Baksh. Witter, mid-range, a little too strong, into the hands of Beckford Norton. As Nikita Naite and De Mercolina Alonso to check in next time by. Lavinia, ah, short on the triple. So what they do, pull down that rebound. Witter, Charles. Charles finds a lane. Tries to drop off to Sevian Witter. Back for Norton now. Final minute of quarter number three. Lavinia thought about pulling up. Thought of it. Manakana tries to bank it home. 
Lavin also to check in next time for Emerald. If the ball ever goes out of play. Final 40 seconds of the period. Chantel Charles, triple. Just a little off left. Both teams able to make changes. Remember, clock still runs until the final two minutes of the contest. Then it just becomes normal FIBA rules. So, probably the final possession. 15 seconds on the clock. Back for Norton. She's going to be picked up by De Mercalina Alonso. Five to shoot. Back for Norton. Puts it up from the elbow. And that's going to do it. Period three in the books. 44-35 is the score. Reby really turned it on at the end there. But for the first ooh, seven minutes, not the most convincing we've seen from Team Ruby. Team Emerald, like I said, they've been able to work them out a little bit, been able to slow their roll. Now we're in for a huge final 10 minutes of play here at the Hoosix Summer League 2022, brought to you by Jordan Brand. <laughs> We have 10 minutes left to play. Ruby 44, Emerald 35. So eight minutes of running clock, two minutes regulation basketball. We're gonna have free throws in the last two minutes. We're gonna have the clock stopping. And again, in the event of a team getting into team foul trouble we will cross that bridge when it arrives Nikki Tonite under pressure on the inbound from Shanice Beckford Norton gets it into Grant final quarter of our first game of week three Try to send that inside to Grant. I think it was Thompson had her hand in there. Back for Norton. Can't put that one away. Samoya rejected. So Cody a doom. Grant pulls up at the strike. Puts it down at the strike. Monacana to the top with Thompson. Great ball movement. Oh, beautiful play. Just a touch too flat. Monacana doesn't go, but used his strength to get inside of uh, Sarkodio Dew's guard there. Batted around in Maracolino Alonso. Foul's going to go on. Shanice Beckford Norton pushing the back on would have been Sarkodia do Nikita Naito Molly Lavin is just short batted around back into the hands of Sarkodia do foul called on Thompson. So it was on the floor, so we just again normal basketball, regular basketball. Accra to check in. Sitting down will be Deborah Samoya. For what it's worth, Samoya has two 
fouls in the contest. Over the top. Spin move. Tries to put it home. Can't go. MJ Sarkozy do. It's Norton. Monacana. Marcelino Alonso not able to keep it in balance. It stays with Team Ruby. 7.30 left in the contest. Thompson, bounce pass, Joseph. Out of bounds, and it goes the way of Team Emerald. Oh no, Michael Diamond Hunter off uh, down his right hand side. He's reversed the decision, and it will be Ruby. Beckford Norton. The floater doesn't go. Acker into the corner, double to the top. Joseph just keeps it in bounds. Thompson finds Monacana, finds a lane. That's tough. Janice Monacana, baseline. You cannot give her an inch. She will take a mile and she will score. So Cody Adu, just off right, Accra. Kept it inbounds for about two seconds more. Oh, beautiful skip over to the top two. Sarkodio do. Molly Lavin at the break. Triple is good. Count the hockey assist to Gabby Nikita Naite. Vision. The ability to make that. So foul called on Nikita Naite. Foul on the floor as McKenzie checking in for Thompson. Joseph. Rejected by the triple team, Monacana. Just in and out. Mercalina Alonso. From the corner, Sarkodia do been letting him fly today from outside had a real strong interior presence in the last game and we have seen that today as Joseph fouled in the act of shooting missed so that's a one point foul it's a one point for team Ruby table making substitutions De Mercalina Alonso sits down Chantel Charles Checking in. Leopards, Haringey, Maine in the NCAA. Played pro in college, uh, pro in Spain. Now doing her work for the London Lions. This weekend though, back with Team Emerald. As they are battling. And Sikiriela Lisk checking in for Janice Monacana. Again, announced her retirement from the WBBL at the end of last season as Chantel Charles drives it down their throat. 47 plays 42 now. It's come off the leg. Think of Shanice. Back for Norton. So five point contest. And that's Possession Emerald. They've been within four. Pulls out Grant. Can't go. Accra pulls out on that rebound. Beckford Norton. Wonderful pass to Joseph. McKenzie. Finds a Lisk. Still got the hands in there. Joseph now. McKenzie fakes one way. Drives underneath. Can't go. Lavin. And Charles ahead of us. Arcodia do to his side. Lavin, coast to coast. All day, Molly Lavin. It's a three point game. 3 18 left in the contest. Back for Norton on the outside. Pulls up at the elbow. Just off to the right. Batted around. Who will it be? 
It's Emerald Ball. Everything is going their way, their way right now. So Team Emerald, they're taking their first time out. They've got one more to take. 2.52 left in the contest. We'll be back in just a couple of moments. 47 place, 44. Team Ruby leading in Who's Fix Pro Am Summer League. Brought to you by Jordan. Welcome back inside City of London Basketball Academy, Who's Fix? Program Summer League 2022, brought to you by Jordan Brand. Make sure you're following Who's Fix across all the social media Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram. Just search Who's Fix on your chosen social media platform and you will find. So, Nikita Nate. Gonna take it up with floor for Team Emerald. They've just taken the timeout. They're just three points back now. Lavin. Nikita Naito has the screen, used it. She's been picked up by Shanice. Janelle Grant. Good battling, really strong battling by Jamila Thompson. Accra, slowing things down. No need to rush. The team Ruby, they've got the lead. Monacana inside, Joseph underneath. Oh, and a foul. It was in the act of shooting. 11. So it's a one point foul. Clock rolls on, it's our four point game. We're inside two minutes. So now it's just any other game of basketball. Free throws. Stop clock. Triples on the way. Can't, can't quite get that. So close. Thompson with the rebound. Going inside. Kicks. Thompson in the paint. Monacana. That one halfway down. Accra. Skips over. Monacana again. Too strong, Janice Monacana. 115 left in the contest. Four points of difference. Nikita Naito. Just short right. Oh, Nikita Naito doesn't miss those. The assist. Marley Lavin. Jason Witter. Asking for his team. Demanding his team. Puts the pressure on. One minute left in the contest. Beck for Norton driving in. Just kept alive by Thompson. Monacana. Joseph. Inside to Monacana. The triple comes. Kick out. And out of the hands of Charles Monacana. No, that's a 24 second violation. With 40 seconds to go. Emerald have the ball. They have time on their hands. Nikita Naite finds Charles. Chantel Charles goes behind her back. Accra does a really good job recovering. Sokodio do thought about the triple. Good pressure by Thompson. 26 to shoot. Inside, Lavin gets it hold off the glass. And a timeout has been called. Team Ruby want to talk things over. 48 plays 48. Team Emerald have it tied with 22.9 seconds to go. Who's Fix Pro and Summer League 2022 will be right back.
Welcome back inside. The situation, we're tied at 48. 22.9 seconds. It's Team Ruby in possession of the basketball. They have advanced the ball. Emerald. One more big stand. And then a basket of their own. This is the excitement that we love at the Hoop 6 Pro and Summer League. Brought to you by Jordan Brand. We've got college athletes. We've got National League athletes. We've got BBL stars. All comes down to this. Beckford Norton against Chantel Charles. Hands off to Joseph. Monacana. Going through their set play. Monacana. Short on the look inside. Nine seconds. Chantel Charles. Oh, she's got it for Emerald. At the turnover. The makes is off the mark. And that will do it. Team Emerald have stolen one from Team Ruby. 50 to 48, the final. What a performance, what a comeback. Team Emerald have done it. And the best news, we got five more games today at the Who6 Pro and Summer League 2022 and you can watch them all with us. What a performance. Jason Witter, he's rightfully dancing. And that is why you never give in. I mean, Ruby, they started this game super hot. Shanice had it going early. Her own makes, but making for her teammates. Deborah Samoye, like for example, had a really strong start to the game. Vanessa Accra as well, pretty strong. But Emerald, bit by bit, they battled, they chipped away, and they really did a fantastic job of limiting Ruby scoring, especially in the second half. And then, I mean, let's just talk about her. Gabby Nikita Naito, she put in a performance and a half. Um, scoring from outside, scoring inside, she did a little bit, well, a lot of everything. That is going to do it from game one. It's in the books. Hoops Fix Pro Am Summer League 2022, brought to you by Jordan Brand, continues. Game two is just a couple of minutes away. From game one, the final score Team Ruby took down, oh, sorry, Team Emerald took down Team Ruby 50 to 48 here at the Hoops Fix Farm Summer League 2022 brought to you by Jordan Brown.